Welcome to episode 2 of my Warframe series, uh, where I'll be giving you tips and tricks on how you should play this game and how you should go about making progress. You know, the first thing I'm going to be covering in the farming episode is um, things like where to farm and how to farm. So for this first section, this is going to be beginners. This is for people that have just started. Now, if you're a beginner, mainly what you're going to want to do is, um, let's see if I have one. Yeah, I do have one. Uh, you're going to want to do Tower 1, Tower 2, Capture, because those are the fastest missions and those will get you the most um, credits. And um, honestly, that's how you want to go about doing that. Next is Dark Sector missions, which... Well, let me see, I don't... I don't know if I actually have an example of a Dark Sector mission. Um... No, no, I really don't. <coughs> don't have any dark sector missions. But um, when you get one, you'll know what it is. I, I don't really have anything to show you for that. But a uh, dark sector mission, um, well, let's see. You could go to Saturn. Let me just look for this real quick. Let's see. Um, is it Piscinus? Haven't completed Saturn in this new account yet. Um, here it is, right here, Dark Sector. That, you want to do it like five rounds on that, and or five minutes. Five minutes or five rounds is typically how you want to go about doing that. Survival, uh, yeah, so it is five minutes. But about five minutes should be enough to get all the credits that you need. Um, also, doing random alerts. So, going into the recruiting channel, looking for pretty much anything people offer, like uh, that, that, that. Joining any of these would be good. <laughs> Just not anything above tier 1 and 2, depending on uh, where exactly you are. Also, I'm going to exit right here and go to my inventory right up here. You can see I have uh, two frames. I've got a Volt level 30 and a Necros rank 23, both of which I, I'm really fond of, but I haven't used a whole lot of Volt recently. But if I go through here, you can see I have um, a lot of maxed out weapons. Um, and... Um, otherwise useless things like a Lephantis Sigil, uh, why would I need three of these? So basically what I'm going to tell you right now is that you should go ahead and just sell anything that you don't need, anything you have more than one of, things like that. If you have some um, some of those, what are they called? Fusion cores and you don't really need them, which granted usually you do want to keep all your fusion cores, but if you have some fusion cores to spare and you really need credits, go ahead and sell them all and you'll be good. Well, that's all I can really give you for beginners uh, farming credits. But, if you want to farm Platinum, there's always news and events uh, where you can get uh, discounts on Platinum as well as some events that will offer you just straight up Platinum. But other than that, you can't really get anywhere but Lucky. Um, now, let's see, for Oregon Cells, the best place to farm Oregon Cells would be on Saturn, once again. And that would be Tethys here on Saturn's boss, Sargus Rook. This is probably the number one place to get an Oregon Cell when you're a beginner, just because it's easy. Now, Neural Sensors, which is another really important um, beginner type of item, I guess you could say. You're going to want to fight Jupiter's boss, um, Alad V. He will usually yield about two to four Neural Sensors if you're lucky. Sometimes he won't give any, which is sad. But if, it, if you have a Necros, like I do, you usually get two chances. You get um, the first time you kill him, and then you get Desecrate, which is uh, one of Necros's more notable abilities. So you actually get two chances. Now the best place to get Morphix and uh, also Gallium is Mars, another planet that I have not yet completed here. But the best place to uh, farm that is right here, Sergeant Nef Anyo. Uh, he's just, he's actually a really easy boss. He's pretty much just a um, <coughs> normal Corpus crewman, uh, except he's a little bit beefier. But um, you can easily find a squad here and easily take him out and get a couple runs in there get some gallium and uh, get some more fix. Now argon crits crystals, the best place I've seen so far, especially for beginners to get argon crystals, is in tower 1 defense because um, it's really easy and you can survive for a very long time. Um, honestly it's not that hard, even if you don't have keys it's very easy to find someone in the recruitment channel who's um, offering them because just right now we've already got somebody offering um, a credit farm, LED V, key share, Tower 3 Defense, Tower 3 Survival, Tower 3 Defense, uh, Vault Run, you know, you've got all kinds of offers going on here in the recruitment channel. Um, and the best possible place you can get EXP um, 
especially if you're a beginner, is here in Mercury. And if you're in Mercury, you want to go over to Apollodurus. That node is the best node right here, this survival node, because all the enemies are very weak, and uh, you can survive for a very long time and get a very large amount of XP. Um, and once again, for um, Syndicate XP, the best place to do that would be in Tower 1 Defense, as well as doing all of your missions. You're going to get random Syndicate missions throughout your time with whatever. I am with Cephalon Suda, and you'll just get a lot of random missions that will sort of pile up. I have a lot right now I haven't played in a while. Do those, and you'll easily get um, whatever it is that you need for Syndicates. Um, now, for the best, uh, quickest way to get T1 through 3 keys for Void missions would be here on Earth, and it's going to be Cambria, right over here. It's an excavation mission? No, it's a spy mission. Um, actually, no, I guess it's Lua, which is an excavation mission. This right here is the best for T1 through 3 keys. Every third extraction, third or fourth extraction, is likely to give you uh, a key. Um, it's not guaranteed, but it's very likely. Um, the other way to get keys is just to do void missions, because um, every void mission has a chance to give you keys. Uh, any number of keys, really, if we're being honest. And um, the best place to get forma, or can reactors, or catalysts, or whatever, is just to do void missions. Any void missions. Any possible void missions you can do, this is the best place. The, these have a chance to drop, not only forma blueprints, but they also have a chance to drop pure forma. I've gotten at least two full forma before. Um, the best place to possibly do that is T3 and T4, but um, obviously if you're a beginner you can't really handle that. Um, <coughs> the uh, only thing is, okay, so I'm talking about forma here, but um, T1 and T2 captures um, are an easy way to get Forma blueprints. Um, you're not as likely, nearly as likely to get just pure Forma, but um, it's a lot easier, a lot quicker, so if you can do a lot of those, you're very likely to get one. And um, you can't really farm reactors and catalysts. They're usually just um, rewards for events mm -hmm. and uh, war missions or whatever you'd like to call them. These invasion missions right here would actually be a sort of good example of missions that would give you... Um, uh, reactors and catalysts. These are usually um, daily mission, daily um, sign-in, like rewards. That's really the best way that I could possibly know of um, <coughs> to get those. And a couple of the gameplay things that you need to know when you're starting off is that a you have to always make sure that you're leveling something. If something gets to a max rank, you want to trade that out for something better or uh, something fresher, something that you have not reached max rank, uh, rank, rank, yeah. See right here, I currently have a bunch of maxed out items equipped simply because I um, was doing an important mission, but if I go over here into my arsenal, um, we'll see, I've got the max rank X Stiletto and the max rank Latron Prime and uh, my Typetto, which these are all my favorite things. But if I were to go on a mission right now, I'd probably want to equip something like, not my Nikana, but, um, let's see, I have the Galatine, but, let's see here, um, it's not showing the Galatine, which is weird, there it is, right here. So I've got the Galatine and the other daggers, no matter how much something sucks, like the other daggers, they really, really suck. Um, you want to be able to equip that, and you want to get it to max level. Like, anything that you get, you want to get it to max level. The starting pistol, the starting rifle, anything you use, get it to max level before you use something new. That's that's just the way of Warframe. That's just how you should go about doing everything. Um, the main reason why I stopped using the Exani, though, is because they're really annoying. And I don't have any other primary weapons to show you. The Latron Prime is actually expired, I think. You can't actually acquire that anymore. But um, I actually got my starting Excalibur to level 30 before I sold him off, and I'm thinking about selling off my Volt. Um, another good tip to know is that um, uh, no matter what, when you're going to sell something, make sure it's level 30. Like if I were going to sell this carrier drone right here, it, it would be best to sell it now when it's level 30 than anything else. But I'm not selling this thing because it's useful. Like, really, really useful. Um, now when you first get Formal Blueprints, Build them as soon as possible, because they take a long time to build, and you're going to need them uh, when you're later in level, but don't use Forma. They usually take about 24 hours, and um, 
when you finally get like an endgame uh, weapon that you'll definitely want to keep around for a long time, that's when you want to use your forma. Um, I don't actually think I have any forma right at the moment though, which is a little sad. Um, yeah, here we go. I have a forma blueprint that I can actually build if I go ahead and get some neural sensors, which I don't feel like doing right now. But yeah, tips and tricks, mate. Tips and tricks. Also, um, join a syndicate as soon as you can. Um, Typically, it's best to join one when you reach around the third weapon tier. Um, if you don't know what the weapon tiers are, you can easily Google that. But I'll probably have a video about it at some point. <coughs> but yeah, honestly, that's something really important. Because you need to defend yourself from people that get really mad at you. Like the Red Veil and the new Loka, if you're the Cephalon Suda. Uh, also, don't forget when joining one, don't forget who you're going to be making into an enemy. Because you're going to make enemies, no matter what you pick. Also, uh, really important, you want to unlock as many planets and locations as soon as possible, as fast as you can. Like, yeah, just as many as you possibly can. Um, and if you have, um, let's say you have an alert or whatever, like a mission, uh, an event node, that is on a planet or location that you have not yet been to, if you go in the recruitment channel, everyone has the same event, and you can find someone who'd be willing to quote-unquote taxi or take you to that node. Now, don't think this means that they will just carry you. You, you need to hold up your own weight. Um, that's really all I have for that. Um, besides the fact that you need to remember that Warframe is a sort of build-your-own-game game. This game is how you make it. You can be a big brute with a lot of health that can charge right into a bunch of enemies, or you can be a really quick dodgy sniper that can stand in the background and pick off enemies from a distance and it's all up to you this game is how you make it so don't feel stuck to anyone else's play uh, play style because you really should be making your own that's how this game is played but yeah that's all the tips i have for today so thanks for watching